Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and you can see Nick just over my shoulder. He's gonna help us pack stack the brand new 2022 Bowen Baseball Hobby Case, 12 boxes. Pick your team number one. May the fourth be with you in this break, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, no vet paper or rookie paper or prospect paper ship. I'm sure everyone read this part. Only Bowman first paper card ship and obviously all hits, all chrome cards will ship. So pretty nice stuff. This is a hobby, so it's one auto a box. Can I put cards here? Will people see it? Uh, yes. Or do you want to tilt it down a little further? Uh, we might have to pull back just a tiny bit. Oh, yeah, we'll see it. We'll see it. It's not like going anywhere. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. They can uh, see it on your camera. Too, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Big thanks, everybody, here in uh, Hobby Pick Your Team 1. Now, if you have a little rooftop next to your name like Greg, that means you won that spot in the filler that we did. Everyone else bought their team straight up, which I appreciate. Stacy ended up with last spot mojo uh, with the Mariners. Carl here got pretty lucky here. He had last spot mojo, won a spot in the in the Bowman filler, and then won the Blue Jays. So it was a good, good little parlay there. There are your packs. All right, thank you. And here is hobby box number one. So thanks, everybody, for joining us. Now that, that Bowman filler we did unlocked um, five cases of Bowman baseball. Um, so we should be able to, especially with Nick's help, at least with the first couple, we should have, should have plenty of time to break all five of those. Maybe an outside chance at, a, at another one later tonight. Um, if you're also just joining us, if you look at the schedule, you'll note that I made some made some room for NT. So I know we got two big new releases today. So NT different feel of the pack. NT football, yeah, it is a different feel. I was just wow, kind of, it's very um, plastic. Yeah, there, it looks like there was an extra layer of coating on the on the pack itself. It's got the same difficulty level of an open, but definitely a different feel in the hand. Yeah, it's definitely. It's like when Brady holds the football and he's like, oh, that's definitely three well, it's PSI. Like, it's like when Rob Manfred <laughs> three PSI. the baseball. It's right. It's like the same baseball. Correct. But it's the same baseball, right. It's a different material. But pitchers will know that this one's a little more slick, this one's more sticky. I think we're definitely feeling that here. Where are we finishing hobby cases in this pack second? An hour? Right? You think it's more? Plus without pack stacking, hour and a half. Without pack stacking, yeah, definitely like hour 20, hour and a half, yeah. So this saves like a solid 20, 30 minutes. Like six, like six, seven minutes. Maybe a little higher. He's an Olympian. Who is an Olympian? Um, he asked how much the Michael Phelps. Oh. Yeah. Probably more, yeah. I mean, got a bun bunch of bunch of gold medals. All right, good luck, everybody. So paper like this, not gonna yeah. ship. Tyler Hardman definitely ships. Whoa. 18 out of 25 for the Yankees. Bowman first autograph. These look pretty sharp, actually. Orange. Yeah. Wow. First auto is an orange. And that is for EA and the Yankees. There you go. Good. I kind of was skeptical about like how they it. put put that spacing right there. I like it. But now I kind of like it, especially it the color, well, yeah. especially because they're using on the autos. They're using it to put a pattern right there. All right. I see you, Bowman I, Design. Yeah. I mean, I like it better than the last couple of years. I do I, too. I'm still a sucker of the full parallel, like the full rectangle. Yeah. Thing, but so these Bowman first cards will ship. This is how Zach Bean won't ship. So Bowman paper first ship, and of course all chrome will be sorted and shipped. So these don't ship. Inserts obviously will ship. Numbered paper obviously ships when we run across those. So I think nothing too, ooh, what's that? Nothing too different from uh, the previous years of our breaks. Actually, should I be sorting out the What paper? is that, a super fractor? No, I thought it was, but I don't think it is. Wait, I'm going to have to leave paper. Right, see Zeus. Should I leave paper in? Should I sort out the first as I'm going? That's the first 
Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, we're, we're, we're caught up on shipping. We're, we're, we're caught up on shipping. Yeah, that's actually a new update this year, ladies and gentlemen. Previously, Nick would not have any paper ship. But now he has Bowman paper first ship. So and here's a nice little die cut here. Marcelo Meyer, Prospector's Special die cut. Not numbered. Numbered on the top right. No, it is numbered. There it is. Gold on gold. 40 out of 49. So I guess Nick's getting softer in his... In his... Uh, in his old age, he's like, I'll ship that paper Bowman first. All right, that Marcelo Meyer uh, die cut goes to Scott Q and the Red Sox. So we'll breeze another reason through. to break which has piece. Yeah. We care about, we don't keep gold kaboons and punch them. <laughs> right. Right. That's just paper, and we'll, we'll pick out all the Bowman firsts out of there. And I don't yell at people at card shows. Right, right, right. At their banners. Yeah, we got yelled at at Del Mar, apparently. There's Victor Labrada Lava to 399. I think it's some sort of lava. Parallel, that'll be for the Mariner, Stacy. Oh, the yeah, M's. I yelled at chastised almost. You were definitely chastised, that, that's for sure. Just for having a shop banner in our own space. We weren't even encroaching on that other person's space. It's our airspace. Yeah, it was it was our airspace, that's for sure. My dad was there, man. She oh man. <laughs> if your dad was there, that I don't think we'd scene. be we I don't think we'd be invited back that at, been a scene at Union to Marketplace. See. I would have filmed it for content. Yeah. For the gram? Yeah. Karen gets mad at yeah. Karen, car show Karen. <laughs> <laughs> that gets so many clicks. <laughs> so many. There's Errol Vera. So there's a card right here that has a slightly thicker card stock. Errol Vera, that's for the Angels. Mark with that yeah, one. Yeah, that'd be at the beginning. This video is sponsored by Seeky. Go to Seeky. <laughs> <laughs> Go to SeekGeek.com and enter Jaspi yeah. for 10% off your next Now, Seeky board. back to the card show Karen. <laughs> <laughs> you have to really set it up, too. In one of those classic videos. So I was minding my own business. All right, oh, there's only, this is right, this is hot. There's only one auto, so we already pulled it. It was for the Yankees for EA. We've got a, ni a lot of nice parallels here. Any numbered card? I haven't seen numbered cards yet. We did, oh, actually, no, a couple. The Lava and the Die Cut was numbered. Right here, lava and the die cut numbered. And we've got an atomic, Jeremy Vargas. That is also not numbered, but nice. Matt Stram on a YouTube card breaker. Now in relief pitching for the Red Sox. Does he really break cards? I think so, yeah. Huh. Or he does like personal breaks. On for Ooh, and a nice Ed Howard fuchsia, 111 to 199. That's for uh, Red and the Cubs. What was this list for? Was that for the Bowman first cards? Yeah. Okay. Each two stacks is a box? Yeah. Perfect. Some good pack stacking. So each stack is half of a hobby box. Ladies and gentlemen. Wait, so you, you said you never saw the holiday special Star Wars? No. I think it's on Disney Plus. It's on YouTube also. I think, it, I think it's off Disney Plus, right? Oh, is it? I don't know. 
People say it's like the worst thing that ever happened. It's kind of really bad. Is is legend? I think there's I've like, I've seen like bits a, of. There's I've, a ten minute scene of. Um, I've seen clips of it. Show. Ibaka talking to like his family with no subtitles. <laughs> Thank you. That's for All right. See ya, Evan. Um, auto popping early here. Ricardo Genovis. Giants. That's for Garrett and the Giants, who uh, who won that spot in the filler. All right. See you, Thomas. All right. See you, Thomas. Thanks, man. I'm excited for the Kenobi. Yeah, the Kenobi series the should be really good. good. They released it today. You see, uh, they're doing two episodes at the end of May. May 27th. So. Yeah. And there's a Champions League final that weekend. And there's an F1 race that weekend. Wow. And Top Gun 2 drops that weekend. A lot of content. A lot of content. No? No Top Gun 2 for you? I didn't like the first one. I couldn't finish it. I walked out of the theater in my room. <laughs> you walked out of your room? You just left it running? It's like, yeah. this is trash? I'm yeah. out? Yeah, it's so the, bad you walked out of your own. Wow. Chair. It's so bad you just left your own room. Yeah. I could, I could see... I didn't like it, but I know it's, like, very popular, so... Yeah. But I also didn't like um, Fight Clubs. I walked out of the theater there, so... You didn't like Fight Club? No. Mm. I thought it'd be something different. There's Diego Velasquez to 125 for the Giants. I think so, Grizzlebees. Yeah, the, the Star Wars Christmas special, legendarily bad. But I think that's where Boba Fett yeah, was first introduced. Boba, yeah, But it's a cartoon Boba Fett. There's Adele, Adiel Amador, 26 out of 50 gold paper. And it's, it's pretty good animation for its time, to be honest. 1978. But yeah. Boba Fett. Who was probably six years old when the first one came out? Top Gun? Me or Nick? Or Top Gun? I probably wasn't even born when Top Gun came out. What, well, Nick's, like, Nick's, like, Nick's like 50 years old. What, what year did it come out? I might have been already breaking by then. I think you were, I think you were still breaking by then. There's Pedro Leon. But is Tom Cruise in this sequel? He is. And Miles Teller is? Uh, I think so. There's Heliot Ramos to 250. Purple Lava for the Giants, Garrett. Val Kilmer's in it, reprising his role as Iceman. <laughs> um, I think Teller is supposed to play the like son, the son of the pilot, his uh, of Tom Cruise's wingman, back in Top Gun One, where he died. Yes. Spoiler alert if you haven't seen the 1986 Top Gun. 86. Yeah, I was breaking back then. Yeah, we, were, we were doing doing some breaks back then. I know, he looks good for 50, right, Chris? That's a lot of moisturizers, a lot of time outside of the sun, a lot of sunblock. A lot, of, a lot of healthy eating. Although I did get sunburned at the LPG. Oh, tour. man. Did you see my face that whole week? Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> we put it in the YouTube tile just to make sure. That just to make sure that can... people are like, you're, do not adjust your television sets. Yeah, it's, Rob Hepler commented just... on the post we did <laughs> with you, and he said, great tan. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, the, that, that sun snuck up on me on the LPG. By the way, Rob Hepler... He said he could get us on Raya, but then he never followed through with that. On what? On Raya. What's that? Um, where we can like date Anna Kendrick. Oh, that's celebrities. like that's like celebrity only, like yeah. like Bumble or whatever. Yeah. Tinder, fifty-seven out of one hundred and fifty. Never forgiven him for that. 
You might be. Rob was here a little bit earlier. Nick wants to get on that. <laughs> the whole, whole Jaspi's team to network. Yeah, right, for, for, network. for network purposes. All right, right, right. All right. Next auto is Anthony Rodriguez for the Giants. 245 out of 499. That'll be for Garrett and the Giants. Two Giants in a row. Third auto. Nine to go. Let's see if there's... Each, and remember, each half stack represents a box. You can see them on the cart right here as well. Big thanks to Nick for pack stacking. This will help us go a little more quickly. Let's see if we can find some train whistles in the, in here too. That'd be cool. There's Errol Vera, purple paper to 250. For the Halos, that's going to be for Mark. Yeah, Val Kilmer was Iceman. That's right, Iceman. I am dangerous. Avatar 2 is coming out this year. Avatar 2? Yeah, why are you surprised? We, did we need a 2? Yeah. Why? What, what was the... Was there a cliffhanger? I don't know. It's been in production for like 12 years. Is James Cameron still doing it? Yeah, he's doing two, three, and four. Okay. We need that many Avatar? Avatar? They're like going to come out back to back to back. Wow. I guess he's not done with that world. I haven't seen the first one since release. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think I have. But I guess they're re releasing it, the original, in theaters so that you can go watch it in theaters before the That's a good idea. Next one comes out. Remember this? The biggest movie in the world? That oh, was huge, bro. Wasn't it like the biggest grossing movie like of all time for yeah, a long time? For a while. Until like this is a Marvel. Until like Marvel, yeah. And Avengers. And do you know what actor was in both? No. Or actress? Two ninety nine Jack Sawinski. Speckle. Well, for the Pirates. Zoe Saldana was in Avatar and she was in That's the right. Avengers. Endgame and Infinity War. That's for uh, Chad and the Pirates. My speckle. So she has to be one of the highest grossing. She's been one of the two biggest movies of all time. Or I guess franchise now. Is she gonna be in the new the upcoming ones? Oh no, actually. Probably. You think she's like, I don't need a salary, just give me points on the gross? Yeah, no. I wonder how they do that. For those kind of I don't think they're giving them points. <laughs> Not on that. But they, they have to be like incentivized. I, I think they just get huge salaries. Gotcha. Because I think because they know it's going to be like a so billion dollar movie. Well, kind of, but but they, so like they, they Seth they, Rogen and Green, Horn, and, um, Green Hornet. Well, screwed from well, Seth Rogen might have. Yeah, I don't know. Points usually happens when when they. When it's not a big budget movie, but they think it's going to be really good in the box office, so they'll be like, "Listen, like, and if you can't get a super, a yeah, I can't afford to pay a superstar, and the superstar will go, well, just give me points. I believe in the project, but just give me points off of this, and then if it hits big, then they, then they hit big." Yeah, NT is indeed percolating, Carl. Remember. It, this it's not painful at all because Angels lose. not painful at all because uh, we promise that we're gonna do NT fillers and even case breaks in between all this Bowman, so you don't have to wait for five Bowens in a row to finish. There's uh, A's Max Muncie, not that Max Muncie, different Max Muncie. I think Dodgers Max Muncie used to be an A as well, so A's just getting. He's just racking up Max Muncy's, I guess. And that's for Mark Bissett with the Oakland A's.
There's Reed Detmers. He's been playing pretty well, right? Reed Detmers, Angels. These vibrations inserts look pretty cool too. Marcus Simeon to four ninety nine paper. Yeah, no worries, Carl. All that information's on the break schedule. It's Jaron Duran Duran, rookie of the year favorites to one twenty five. That'll be for Scott and the Bow Sox. Yeah, Carl, we're, we're we're looking out for the people. We're looking out for the people, for the NTE people. You want to pick up some? Uh, yes, I will. So we got a lot more boxes here. Here's half the box. Another box. Are these two the same box? Yeah. Box. Box. Half a box. Half a box. Half a box. Box. Half a box. Other half of the box. Matt Vaskersian doing Angels games always trips me out because I'm like, Sunday Night Baseball? Yeah, I don't like him. Yeah, he's a familiar voice, but yeah. It was like the first or second Angels game. He made it seem like Otani had just blasted at 450 feet to win the game. Uh -huh. And he didn't even hit the running track. Oh, boy. Uh, and here's Dustin Harris, yellow, 12 out of 75. Wow, that really pops. Look at that. The yellow parallel looks really nice this year. That is for the Rangers. And we'll do an auto recap at the end, of course. Texas Rangers, Alex Donnelly picked up AD, picking up the Rangers straight up, which I appreciate. Have you listened to any of those Apple TV baseball games? No, I heard they're really bad. Yikes, yeah. They're pretty rough. One of them's with, um, who's the guy that took over Chris Rose's intentional talk spot? Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen that show since he left. Oh. Yeah, it's de very different since he left. But, um, but he does the play-by-play. -play. I mean, he's great on that show. He's great at a desk, but maybe not for play-by-play. -play. You think they pay all the money for And then they have Katie Nolan, and then they have um, Hunter Katie Pence. Nolan. Yeah, it's a weird three-person booth. So, Pence. yeah, again, both, and both Katie Nolan and Hunter Pence are getting crushed every broadcast that they do. And Katie Nolan's great, but I don't know if she's good in that spot. Um, and, and, and Hunter Pence has she been... I don't know. Yeah, she's, it's a weird career arc for her, I think. There's Roberto Campos. Bowman first autograph for the Tigers. Corey Coat with the Tigers. Is that so far she was with ESPN? again? They paid her like all that money. I think she still is. Gotcha. No, maybe not, actually. You're right, because they she was doing a podcast, and that podcast abruptly stopped. She was good on that podcast format, but I don't know if anyone has really, or even if she, I don't know if she has really figured out what format or style works for her. The three, the three man booth in on the Apple TV broadcast were kind of weird too, because I don't think they really, they all really don't have chemistry with each other. So, you think? They'd pay all the money for that. They'd pay a lot of money for announcers. Just well, like those safe. Right. Just like seasoned veterans. So, yeah. I mean, because Amazon Prime is doing it completely differently with their Thursday Night Football. Yeah, like, but who do they have? Tom Eichel? 
I think they're going to get Al Michaels. I think they're going to they're getting like top notch producers, top notch. But who's going to be the second guy? Because Trey can work to ESPN. Um, I don't know. Maybe they'll they'll buy out Collinsworth or something like that. Josh Baez is seventy five. Carlos Aguirre to 150. Uh, yes, Carl. If you look at the schedule, you'll see we have it timed out. Each of these Bowman breaks will be about an hour, but the schedule will give you some time specifics and what we're, what break we're currently on. So days like this, especially with longer breaks, that schedule that we have pinned in the chat, ladies and gentlemen, is a pretty important resource if you want to know what's going on. at any moment. Bowman in 3D, is that, that this insert? And they have some signed ones for those too, so let's go. Ooh. We'll look out for those little signed inserts. There's Jeremy Vargas to 125. I always thought uh, like Bowman should add like some sort of some sort of kaboom or like downtown type of chase. Yeah, like a one like a one per case one situation. Per case yeah, for Just to add some value. Lay, add a little spice to it. Yeah, why don't they do that? It's a good idea. You call up fanatics and pitch them that idea. Another box in the books. Not too many to go, ladies and gentlemen. So each half stack represents a full box. Errol Vera, Atomic. So the boxes that you see, the packs on my desk and the packs on the cart represent the entire break. So we'll keep flying through these. How'd you swing it? Come on. Wow, even Vaskersian's like blown away. Let me see the replay. Oh, yeah, that was bad. <laughs> It was in the dirt, like two feet in front of the plate. No, they're mad that they think it's a check swing. Oh, they think it's a check swing. Oh, I see. We got a young, uh, young Kensi Noel, 007 out of 100. It's a cool, cool parallel here. I like those lava parallels. That's for Mark and the Cleveland Guardians. Got a lime green paper, Jason Dominguez to three ninety nine. 
another one for EA and the Yankees. Aaron Ashby to 199, purple paper for the Brew Crew. Yeah, nephew of Andy Ashby. Some of you may remember him from back in the day. Mark Bissett with the Brew Crew. And our autograph is here, Matt Frazier for the Buckos. That's going to be for Chad and the Pirates. Another box in the books. There's another box. Good luck. Got a Christian Hernandez Atomic for the Cubs. I saw some aqua paper here, or aqua chrome shimmer. 10 out of 125, Brandon Valenzuela. That'll be for the Padres. That's going to go to Greg. Greg B. Padres. And a redemption. That's uh, James Triantos for the Cubbies. Chrome Prospect Autograph. That's for Red and the Cubs. Nice. The High Five Futures insert looks pretty cool. Colson uh, Montgomery. We've got a blue Will Wagner, 39 out of 150 for Houston. That's for Donald. Another two boxes here, one and two. We 
We got uh, Esteban Machado to four ninety nine. Blue Jays paper and a Norhe Vera. Fuchsia Lava to one ninety nine. That looks pretty cool too. White Sox Dusty with the White Sox. And Carl with the Blue Jays gets the uh, gets the paper right here. And there's your autograph, Felix Val uh, Valrio, 55 out of 250 for the Brewers. Mark Bissett with the Rook Group. Again, we'll do an autograph recap at the end of this. Kevin Alcantara to 399. Another one of that lava parallels, which I think look really sharp. That's red with the Cubs. box. And Luke Waddle, 276 out of 299 is your speckle autograph for Greg and the Braves. Greg won that spot in the filler. Gets the autograph right here. Got a purple chrome Luke Waddle, 77 out of 250 for the Bravos. Got his autograph, now we got his purple chrome. Seven spots and I could post the last filler to sell out it. Wow, everyone hear that? Seven spots away until we can post the last filler for NT, remember, we are doing uh, NT stuff in between all these Bowman Chrome breaks too, so that'll be a nice little palate cleanser. Jeter Downs, former Dodger prospect, to 499. 
There he is. That's for the Red Sox. That'll be for Scott. Jonathan uh, Klaes, Klaas, 341 out of 399 for the M's. Another lava parallel for, for the Brave. That's for Stacy. All right, we got three boxes to go. All right, good luck. Last three boxes. We've done about 15, 20 minutes. This is Olivas Martinez, uh, 38 out of 150, atomic parallel for the, that slightly thicker card, which is pretty cool. Zach Veen Atomic, Bowman Top 100 to 150. Nice insert for the Rockies, Katie for the Rockies. And uh, Luis Verdugo, 109 to 399, green paper for the Cubs. It'll be for red. We got a Henry Henry Mendez, 10 out of 25. Nice orange for the Brew Crew, Mark Bissett. And there's Arvison Ar Arteaga, 93 out of 100 atomic parallel for the Giants, Garrett, with San Francisco. Got an Aaron Judge, blue paper to 125. That'll be for EA and the Yankees.
And Henry Davis, Pirates autograph. That'll be for Chad. Yeah, the uh, round one first overall pick, Henry Davis. Nice one, Pirates. Nice one, Chad. Picked up the Pirates straight up. You got Randy Arozarena, purple paper to 250. For the Rays, that'll be for Tomoya. RBI for Jared Walsh. Game timing, tying RBI. It's good for my fantasy team. There's Hedbert Perez to 150, blue paper. And yellow chrome, 14 out of 75. It's Jason with the Nationals, and the Hedbert Perez blue paper will go to Mark and the Brew Crew. Final box coming up. Kenzie Noel, 60 out of 499 for Mark in Cleveland. And the autograph is right here. Uh, Lenyon Sosa. That'll be for the White Sox. That's going to go to Dusty and the White Sox, our last auto of the break. 
And let's see if we can find any parallels here. Looks like another few got a fuchsia Andrew Benintendi 279 added 299. It's been hitting pretty well so far this season. And there's Daryl Hernice to 125. That's for the O's. That's going to go to Zachary. 003 out of 125 blue paper. And that's that, my friends. 2022 Bowen Baseball Hobby Case. Pick your team number one in the books. Here are the autos from the case. Got some orange there, too. Some good color. We started off with that nice Tyler Hardman to 25 and a bunch of parallels right here as well. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.